In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily set up uh, unit testing and end-to-end -end testing in your Ionic applications. I've previously written uh, quite a few tutorials on how to do some uh, unit tests, end-to-end -end tests, uh, test-driven development, and all kinds of different things. Uh, and so I have a ton of tutorials on my blog which you, uh, which you can take a look at if you want to learn how to do that kind of stuff. Um, but I did have one, one sort of initial testing tutorial that walked through uh, setting up unit testing and, and another one that went through setting up end-to-end -end testing. And the problem is that it is quite a process to get everything set up. There's tons of configuration required to get Karma and Jasmine working correctly, especially in a TypeScript environment with Ionic. Uh, so that was quite, quite an annoying process to get set up in a new application. Uh, but uh, just recently, uh, the Ionic team put together this uh, they put together this uh, sort of example unit testing um, uh, application example with Ionic, and this was based on an example that uh, Rob Louie put together, who you can see here. So he came up with this uh, much more simple uh, setup uh, for unit testing in Ionic. Uh, so the Ionic team put together this repository here, and then um, various people have sort of committed some uh, changes to set other things up in there as well. So. And I'd also like to give a quick shout out to, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but uh, Lathonas, um, uh, who sort of originally came up with, uh, I feel like it was probably the first example of unit testing in Ionic. Um, and we've sort of built off of that. So uh, a lot of people have put in uh, the effort here to create this kind of one unified resource that we can use for an Ionic application. And now it's super easy to start testing in your applications uh, because we can just copy this repository and everything is set up and ready to go. Uh, so as I mentioned, I'm not going to walk through how to unit test or how to create end-to-end -end tests in this video. I'm just going to show you how you can use this uh, repository here to get uh, set up really quickly. And then if you want to learn more about uh, unit testing, end-to-end -end testing and all that, uh, feel free to read through some of my tutorials. Uh, but definitely don't use the um, and my setup tutorial anymore. I need to update that to use this instead. So basically all we need to do to uh, get started is just to clone this repository uh, into uh, our own new project. So if I click on the, the clone uh, link here, and then if I come into my um, terminal here, I'm gonna create a new project just by running git clone, and I'll use that uh, the URL of that git repository, and then just uh, give your project a name, whatever you want to call your uh, the directory that you're going to store that uh, project in, just write that. So I'll just call this Ionic uh, Testing Example, which is actually pretty much the same name anyway, but you can call it whatever you want. So just hit that and that's going to clone that repository into that folder for you. And then once that has finished, we'll just uh, change into the repository uh, we just cloned. And then you just need to run npm install, and that's going to go through installing all the dependencies, which will include all the normal Ionic stuff uh, that we're using, but also all of the unit testing things. So it's going to install uh, Jasmine, Karma, Protractor, uh, everything we need to run unit tests and end-to-end -end tests. Okay, so now that that's finished uh, running, all we need to do to run the unit tests is to run uh, npm uh, test. So run that command, and it's going to start the unit test for us. And there are a couple of unit tests in here by default. If we jump into the source folder, uh, going to pages, uh, I believe page one here has a, um, a spec here. And you can see there's an example test in here that says it should create a component, uh, create the component, and it should also have uh, an H3 tag in the text. So if we take a look at the output for that test, we can see that it's executed four tests and they've all been successful. So there was two there. And I think there was also another two unit tests set up in the app uh, component here. Yes, yeah, so this is another two here. Again, test if it's created and test if there are two pages. So that's how you run the unit tests. And of course you can add your own uh, extra unit tests. This is just an example. And then if you want to run the end-to-end -end tests, uh, all we need to do is just, uh, we're gonna, uh, we'll have to serve that. Okay, so you can see in the background there, I'm uh, serving that in the browser now. And then to run the end-to-end -end test, you just have to open up uh, another terminal, uh, go to the same project, and then just uh, run npm run e2e. So that's gonna launch uh, these tests in the browser, and 
it's going to run whatever end-to-end -end test we have, which I think is just uh, one in the example. Yeah, so it's got on the app component, we've got a, um, uh, we're just testing that uh, the initial page, the root page that's getting set has a title that says page one. And so when I run that, just then you can see it pop up, run the test, and then it closes. And so for that, you can just add whatever end-to-end -end test you want uh, in uh, in the E2E folder here, uh, as long as they have the format of so app.e2e spec.ts, you could call it um, say login page.e2e spec.ts. As long as it's in that format, that's going to run all of those end-to-end -end tests for you. So I just wanted to show you how to quickly get up and running with this uh, example repository here. I definitely recommend just using this repository over trying to install all the dependencies yourself. And if uh, you have any particular issues with this repository, it is still reasonably new. I'd recommend just um, sending pull requests to this repository. It would be great if we could just have this as the one uh, one main example of how we can set up unit tests, end-to-end uh, -end tests. Uh, in an Ionic application, so we don't have all these different versions going around. And I think eventually I Ionic will set this up as a, a starter template as well. So uh, hopefully we can just, you know, run Ionic start my app uh, unit tests or testing or whatever, and we'll get this um, template by default. Uh, so I hope this video was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.